Managing Cholesterol Introduction Cholesterol is a waxy substance that is found in the fats in your blood. Your body needs cholesterol to build healthy cells, but having high cholesterol can increase your risk of heart disease. High cholesterol can be caused by unhealthy lifestyle choices. Eating a healthy diet and getting regular exercise can help lower your cholesterol level. Medications can also be prescribed to treat high cholesterol. This program will help you understand cholesterol and how to control the level of cholesterol in your body. What is cholesterol? The fat that we eat is absorbed in the intestines and then goes to the liver. From the liver, the fat is delivered to the rest of the body. Fat is used and stored by fat cells in the body. The liver changes fat into one of two kinds of fat, cholesterol and triglycerides. Triglycerides are fatty acids that provide most of the energy needed by the body tissues. Cholesterol is a waxy substance that is found in the fats in your blood and every cell in your body. Your body needs cholesterol to build healthy cells. Cholesterol is moved through the blood by carriers called lipoproteins. Cholesterol and triglycerides are packed into lipoproteins by the liver. Lipoproteins are sent to fat cells in the body through the bloodstream. LDL and HDL are the forms in which fat and cholesterol are transported in the blood. The body needs cholesterol to be healthy, but LDL can deposit cholesterol in the walls of the blood vessels. This is called atherosclerosis. The cholesterol deposited by LDL leads to narrowing of the blood vessels. This can lead to heart attacks and strokes. That is why LDL is known as bad cholesterol. HDL usually collects the bad cholesterol and takes it back to the liver. That is why HDL is known as good cholesterol. HDL can help prevent heart attacks. Cholesterol is only found in animals. It is created in the liver. Vegetables do not contain cholesterol. Knowing the total level of cholesterol in your body, as well as the levels of LDL and HDL, is important. This information can help you prevent the health problems caused by atherosclerosis. Does LDL collect bad cholesterol and take it back to the liver? Select yes or no. Correct. It is HDL that helps take bad cholesterol back to the liver. That is why HDL is known as good cholesterol. LDL deposits cholesterol on the walls of blood vessels, causing them to become narrow. Select true or false. Correct. That is why LDL is known as bad cholesterol. Higher levels of HDL lower the risk of atherosclerosis. Select true or false. Correct. HDL carries bad cholesterol back to the liver so that it does not get stuck to the blood vessels. This helps prevent atherosclerosis, which is when the blood vessels become narrow. Diagnosis Cholesterol levels should be checked by a healthcare provider every one to two years. The level of cholesterol in the body can be measured with a blood test. The results come as three main numbers. Total cholesterol LDL, HDL. The level of LDL should be less than 100 mg per deciliter. The level of LDL is considered to be near or above optimal between 100 and 129, borderline high between 130 and 159, high between 160 and 189, very high above 190. The total cholesterol level should be less than 200. For people with heart disease or a high risk of heart disease, the level should be less than 160. In addition to high cholesterol levels, serious risk factors for heart disease include high blood pressure, obesity, smoking. Other risk factors for heart disease include age, 
Men who are 45 or older and women who are 55 or older are at an increased risk for heart disease. Diabetes. Family history of heart problems. HDL level lower than 35. The following table shows the recommended level of total cholesterol. Press the right. In this table, it is recommended that the level of total cholesterol in the body should be less than 200. Select true or false. Correct. It is recommended that the level of total cholesterol in the body should be less than 200. Select true or false. Correct. It is recommended that the level of LDL be less than 100. Select true or false. Correct. It is recommended that the level of HDL be more than 60. Select true or false. Correct. Causes. The main cause of high cholesterol levels is eating a diet that is high in fat and cholesterol. High cholesterol tends to run in families. Certain medical conditions can increase cholesterol levels. These include certain genetic diseases, diabetes, obesity, thyroid gland problems. Stress can also increase the levels of cholesterol in the body. Eating a diet that is too high in fat is the main cause of high cholesterol. Select true or false. Correct. Fats that are usually solid at room temperature, like the white fat found in animal meat or butter, are known as saturated fats. Fats that are liquid at room temperature, such as olive oil or vegetable oil, are known as unsaturated fats. Eating saturated fat increases LDL and makes cholesterol problems worse. Eating unsaturated fat decreases LDL and helps lower cholesterol. The more cholesterol from animal products that a person eats, the higher their cholesterol level becomes. Treatment options. Lifestyle changes such as getting regular exercise and eating a healthy diet that is low in fat and cholesterol can help lower your cholesterol levels. If a medical condition is causing high cholesterol, treating the condition can help return your cholesterol levels to normal. Medications may also be prescribed to help control cholesterol levels. The types of medications that are given depend on the patient's cholesterol levels, overall health, and risk of heart problems or stroke. Regular follow-up care with a healthcare provider is needed to make sure that the treatment is working. Diets Eating a healthy diet can help you lower your cholesterol levels. Choose healthier fats. Saturated fats and trans fats raise your total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol levels. No more than 10% of your daily calories should come from saturated fat. Monounsaturated fats are a healthier option. Foods that contain this type of healthy fat include almonds and walnuts, olive, peanut, and canola oils. Avoid trans fats. Trans fats are found in margarine, prepackaged cookies, crackers, and snack cakes. Your healthcare provider may recommend a reduced sodium diet. Talk to your healthcare provider about how much sodium is right for you. Avoid foods that are high in cholesterol. These include egg yolks, organ meats, whole milk products. Press the To lower your cholesterol levels, eat fruits and vegetables, heart-healthy fish such as tuna and salmon, whole grains, Saturated fats and trans fats raise your total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol levels. 
select true or false. Correct. No more than 10% of your daily calories should come from saturated fat. Choose healthier fats instead. Medications. Press the right. The most common and effective medications used to treat high cholesterol are called statins. Statins slow down the rate at which LDL is made. They also speed up the rate at which the liver destroys LDL. Examples of statins are drugs such as lovastatin, mevacor, and simvastatin, zocor. The side effects of statins are usually mild. They may include upset stomach, constipation, and cramps. Rare side effects of statins include liver problems, nerve or muscle damage. Your healthcare provider may prescribe nicotinic acid to treat high cholesterol. Nicotinic acid, also known as niacin or vitamin B, can decrease levels of LDL and raise the levels of HDL, but it may carry side effects such as an increased risk for severe bleeding or diabetes. Statins are the most common and effective medications used to treat high cholesterol. Select true or false. Correct. Statins slow down the rate at which LDL is made. They also speed up the rate at which the liver destroys LDL. Summary. Cholesterol is a waxy substance that is found in the fats in your blood. Your body needs cholesterol to build healthy cells. But, having high cholesterol can increase your risk of heart disease. Cholesterol is used by the body to move digested fat to different parts of the body. LDL and HDL are forms in which fat and cholesterol get transported in the blood. Cholesterol that is deposited by LDL outside the walls of the arteries causes narrowing of the blood vessels. This can lead to heart attacks and strokes. That is why LDL is known as bad cholesterol. HDL usually collects the bad cholesterol and takes it back to the liver. That is why HDL is known as good cholesterol. The main cause of high cholesterol is eating a diet that is high in fat and cholesterol. High cholesterol tends to run in families. Some people have medical conditions that can increase the levels of cholesterol. Stress can also increase the levels of cholesterol in the body. The level of cholesterol in the body can be measured with a blood test. Cholesterol levels should be checked by a healthcare provider every one to two years. Lifestyle changes such as getting regular exercise and eating a healthy diet that is low in fat and cholesterol can help lower your cholesterol levels. Medications may also be prescribed to help control cholesterol levels. The types of medications that are given depend on the patient's cholesterol levels, overall health, and risk of heart problems or stroke.